Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and you guys, it's finally time for the full face of ColourPop. Oh my god, this has been, first of all, so requested from you guys. I'm in this, like, I love to do full face of fill in the blank right now, and ColourPop has been one of the most highly requested, and let's be honest, it's because they're amazing. ColourPop has some of the best, most affordable products that I just love. I love that their quality is always on point, the price is always amazing. And they're always making such an effort, too, to come out with different products that aren't just the normal, like, yes, they do palettes and foundations and they've done all the normal stuff but they've also made an effort to come out with stuff like their jelly much eyeshadows or the super shock cheek stuff and I just feel like overall they're such an interesting brand they're always trying to develop their prices are always great and I'm just really excited today to dive in to play around now I just want to say up front some of these products I have used before some of them I love and I will obviously tell you which ones those are and a couple I have never used before so with that being said we're gonna dive in we're gonna start playing around getting our fingers in some goodies here and love on some some ColourPop because ah, ColourPop is so good. Though forgot to turn the AC off. Be right back. You wanna know what's really ironic about that? You're probably looking at me like, Paige, it's the middle of summer. Why are you wearing a sweater? You ever just wake up and you're like, I need to wear a sweater or a hoodie today? And even if it is 70 degrees outside, I have this thing called AC and I'm gonna make it 60 degrees in here so that I can pretend it's colder outside, wear a sweater and live my best life while encroached in this amazing, comfy, squishy sweater. That's the kind of day I'm having, and I made it happen. Like, I just created my own atmosphere in here, and I'm not gonna lie, it is negative nipples inside this friggin' room, and I don't care, because my toes might be numb, but yo, my body is cloaked in a sweater, and that's all I care about. Okay, now getting into the actual video, guys, I am in like one of those weird little headspace moments where I'm just like Bleh! all over the place, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna dive in first to primer. Now this, remember when I was saying at the beginning of the video, this is where I made like a little boo-boo? Yeah. Whoops. Um, I purchased their primer. I think it's the All-Star Primer. And I have purchased it twice. Twice! And I cannot find it anywhere. I don't know where it goes. It literally grows legs and walks away each time. I've kept it in the same bin. I just saw it last week. And I do not understand how it could have left me. So I apologize. I do not have that primer. So I'm going to go ahead and prime today with the Tatcha Silk Canvas because I'm going to be using a foundation of theirs I've never tried before. So I want to make sure I'm going in with something that I know how it works and sits on my skin. Alright you guys, I got that on. I applied it mainly in like the T-zone, super porous areas, a little on the chin here. And it's nice. It's settled into the skin. So next up we're going to go in with the stick foundations and I have a couple of shades. That one right there is Light 40N. That one right there is Fair 05W. And this one right here is Fair 27N. Ooh, I like the tone of that one right there. This is the shade Fair 07N. I think this one in reality would be my color, but I think I'm going to mix it with a little bit of the last shade. So I'm going to go in with Fair 27N. All right, and then let's add a little bit of, you know, non-pastiness to our faciness. <laughs> now, I'm going to go in and start off with the It Cosmetics Chic Foundation Brush right here, just more of a dense brush, and I'm going to buff this in a little bit here. I do have a beauty sponge, but I feel like when it comes to stick foundations, they do tend to apply a little bit better on my skin with a brush, uh, but then I can go over top and always smooth them out with a blender if I want to, just to help, you know, undo any marks that we have going on. Okay, so this is not looking the best on my nose. So I'm just gonna build it up, I think, on like the cheek region a little. I'll do a touch on the nose. And because this one's a little darker, I'll mainly hit like the perimeters with this. Not like as a bronzy, but just, you know, to maintain a little bit better coverage. And then I'll go in here. This is my Shop Miss A sponge for a dollar, or this one might have been the dollar eighty-eight. But I'll use this to kind of pack it on a little bit better here. All right, so now we're going to go in with concealer. This is their No Filter Concealer in Fair Zero Two. And if you are an OG, you probably remember a time when their concealer was my favorite concealer. Now this does settle down to be a little bit more on the matte side, which I personally don't have any issue with because it blends out really nicely and it settles down to more of a natural matte and not an overly mattified look, at least not on my under eye, which is good. Color pop, color pop, oh color, 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 color pop. Da -dun, dun, dun, dun. All right, so y'all know I could not make this video without playing around a little bit more with their blush sticks. You guys, these are so good. I just did a full video and review of these and the highlight sticks, which I will link up here. I think I had, I want to say, two of the kits and then two of the singles, and they're just so nice. These, in my opinion, are one of those items that it's like, oh my god, once you try it out, you'll wonder why you ever pay a lot of money for the same product again. I like to apply it like that. 
And then if I'm going for more of a flushed look, which today I am because I have so many other products that I'm going to be putting on top of this, I'll just kind of lay this down as a nice base. Ooh, look at that nice little flushed cheek moment. Hey, hey. All right, guys, so I think I'm going to stop here. I don't want to build this up a ton because I am testing the foundation. I don't know if I said this or not, but that was in the shade Hooked. Now, for the highlight, I'm not going to go in and use one of the sticks from that video because the highlight I picked out is one of my favorites, and I really want to get the chance to use it. So I'm not going to do anything else as far as the creams go, even though I could, and they are so, so good. Um, next, we're going to go in, though, with powder. And for that, I have two options. I have the No Filter sheer pressed powder and I also have their no filter setting powder now here's what I'm thinking let's go ahead and test out this setting powder which I think I may have tried a long time ago and I didn't love it um, and that was because back then I had to have like a really full beat so I bought a fresh one I grabbed this in the shade translucent and it has a slight like banana undertone to it which I'm not mad at as long as when I apply it to the skin it doesn't look super banana y I'm okay with that so I'm gonna go ahead here and pat out my under eye and then Kind of pack it in there first. All right, let's set that Hulk down, girl. Yes, pat it out and set. And then I'm just gonna go in with my powder puff and lightly apply a thin layer to the rest of the face. So now it's time for bronzer, and this is California Dreaming. Let's take a little swatch of that one. Boom. Then the other one I grabbed is right here. This is the shade Private Party. That one looks a little bit cooler on my skin, but I feel like both of them would work. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Private Party first just to test it out and see because it's not that I like the cool undertone of it But the other one is pulling a little bit too warm and I'm not sure how it'll look with how pale I look right now So I am gonna go in with Private Party. All right guys, so here's that bronzer. I don't hate that color at all I feel like it looks pretty good on my skin tone. It's not overly cool, which I like now I am gonna grab this brush This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH02 and I'm gonna go into California Dreaming, which is the other shade and I'm gonna test that one on this side here just to see if I like one a little bit more than the other I think I like California Dreamin' just a little bit better. It's not as warm as I thought it would be, which is nice. The other one isn't bad. Like I said, it's just a slightly more cool undertone, but I feel like this one blends in with my actual skin tone a little bit nicer. Okay, so now it's time for blush. And for those of you that are new here, I love ColourPop blushes. I love them so much. They're super shock cheek blushes especially. I love them so much. This one is an oldie but a goodie. It's in the shade Holiday. I've used it so many times on my channel, and I really love this shade. And by the way, if you really want to see my love affair of these, go hog wild i did a full review of their spring collection which i will link up here that collection gave me honest to god the best feelings the best vibes the best everything and i just like oh my god everything about it from the packaging the presentation the colors the fact that they added like what six blushes to it they were just so good the palette like Oh my god, if you're considering anything from that line, go check out that video. And if you want to just see me have like a loving aneurysm, definitely go check it out. Anyways, I did pull this blush for today, but then I also, while I bought the bronzers, I bought one of their pressed blushes as well. So here is the shade Holiday, and then here is the pressed shade Rom-Com. Now, I love both of these colors. Obviously, Holiday I have used before, so I'm going to go in with Rom-Com right here and apply that one to the cheeks. I'm going to apply that here with the It Cosmetics Flawless Blush Brush. Oh. Yep. So good. And I love it because there's just a touch of hooked from underneath the one that we applied that was the cream blush. There's just a little bit of that kind of poking through and giving us a slightly different color. So now you guys know is the point where I like to go in with my hourglass and kind of buff that all over the skin. But I thought we would try their sheer pressed powder for that just to see if maybe it was similar. So I'm going to grab my JH01 here Morphe brush and I am just going it to lightly kind of buff that into the skin. I don't think it's going to give me the same radiance as the hourglass one would, but I do think it'll give me like a nice kind of blended out look to the skin. That actually looks really nice. The only area still that doesn't look great is my nose. Y'all, do you see this brow pencil? This is in Bang & Brunette, and their brow pencil for me is iconic. I'm going to go ahead and use this to shape out my brows a little bit, but believe me when I tell you, this is a product I have used time and time again. Their brow pencils are so good for the price. I believe they're like $5, and the amount of product, you get a spoolie, and it's just the quality is outstanding. Now, remember at the beginning of this video where I told you I like made like two 
two little boo-boos. Uh, yeah, brow gel would be the other one. I'm going to use my ABH brow gel because it's the only one I have in front of me. Now, while I'm doing this, I will go ahead and tell you that ColourPop does make a brow gel of their own. It comes in four colors and a clear gel as well, and it's really nice. The consistency is very good. I have no issues with it. Um, it's just a really good brow gel. I just don't have one. And you know the real kicker about it is that I thought I had one. When I sat down to film this video, I was like, oh, I got to go grab my gel. I ran over to my little brow station. I pulled it open, and not only did I not have the colored brow gel, I have no idea where that went because I have purchased their dark brown or what shade is it here? Yeah, dark brown. Their dark brown gel because um, I actually pulled up an old order. I'm like, I know I bought that, but I had the dark brown gel. Can't find that anywhere, and all I could find was a crusted, busted, rusted bottle of their old clear gel, and as you guys know, I like to go in with a colored gel. All right, you guys, so now it is time for the main event. I'm very excited because it's time for eyeshadow, and I have held on to a palette that I didn't want to use because remember how I told you I was going to film this video a long time ago? Yeah, right around the same time that Kathleen Lights and ColourPop released the Zodiac palette, I bought the entire collection, and I was like, I'm going to save that for my full face of ColourPop. Well, now here we sit all this time later, and I still have managed to keep my grubby little paws off of it, so it's time to dive in. As you can tell, I take this very seriously. So this right here is the Zodiac palette, and I'm so excited. Um, first of all, let's go right to the Libra, which is, yes, this nice little neutral color. Oh, yes, honey, we are Libras, and we are here to be neutral and proud about it. Yeah! Oh, my God, the Pisces? <sighs> Oh, okay. I, I don't have nearly as much flavor as the Pisces, but dang. <sighs> mm. <sighs> Living. Oh my God, you guys, look at these ones too. I can do anything with this palette and I'm so excited about it. Okay. I need to figure out what I want to do with my life. Whew. Settle down, Paige. Calm down. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to prime my eyes, and I'm going to use the ABH Eyeshadow Primer. So going into this eye look, I actually kind of know what I'm looking for, which is like the first time that's ever happened. So I'm going to start off by taking the Libra right here, and I'm going to dust that through the entire crease with the BH Studio Pro number 5. Whew, I'm getting sweaty. Oh, probably shouldn't have put on the sweater. Sweaty. Sweaty sweater, sweaty sweater, sweating in my sweater. Ugh, it's a situation. All right, so from there, we're going to go in with the Virgo, and we're going to work that primarily on the outer V and then move it lightly in toward the inner portion of the eye with the Morphe M433 brush. And then I'm just going to go back in with the Libra shade and the other brush and just combine those shadows. Ooh, pretty. All right, so it's time for the fun. NYX Glitter Glue first, and then we're going to go in with the shade The Pisces. We're going to put that one on the outer portion of the lid, but still leave a little bit of the deep shade on the outer V. Now, you guys are probably wondering to yourself, girl, what's going on on the inner portion of the eye? What are you going to do? Remember how I told you I had this planned? Look at this right here. This is the shade Heat, and it's their Super Shock shade, and it's a satin color, but look at how bright. Oh, my, I love this color so so much and we're gonna take this on the inner portion of the eye as well as the inner pop of color on the inner eye and take it a little bit down onto the lower lash line as well and I'm just using that yellow and kind of lightly grazing it over Pisces just to make it a little bit more transitioned and then I am gonna go back in with just a little bit of the Virgo and blend that in on the outskirts of the Pisces just to make sure it all looks blended. So some of the blue down here that was fallout isn't exactly going away so I'm gonna take a little bit of their uh, baking powder here or setting powder rather and I'm gonna use that on the other side as a little bit of a base so I have something to brush away. I'm gonna think ahead this time. I'm also gonna dump a quarter cup on my sweater. Great, wonderful, love that for me. I'm gonna go in and finish up the lower lash line with just a little bit of Sagittarius and I'm taking this on a little flower beauty brush that came with the palette but it's the perfect size for a smoky lower lash line all right and then I just took and blended a little bit of that yellow down right up against the purple just to open up that tear duct area down there and I freaking love that oh my god it turned out so cute. There's something I almost never do. I'm going to go in and use their black eyeliner, their liquid liner, to lightly line the top lash line up there. I'm not going to do a wing or anything because I don't want it to be like overly done, but I do just want to give a slight amount of definition to the upper lash line. Guys, I just had a great idea. I'm going to go in with the Capricorn right here, which is like a matte black with some glitter in it. And I'm going to take the Chic Liner Brush from IT Cosmetics. And I am going to basically use this shade over top of that liner I just went in with. Just to kind of soften the line a little bit. And give it a little bit of something sparkly. Oh, yep. 100% the right decision. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and set the face, and I get to test out their all-star setting spray here. This is a matte and blur face setting spray. 
very light fragrance, not overwhelming. Okay, let's go ahead and spray it on the face. I just got it all over my friggin' mirror that I was using. Good. All right, guys, so now it's time to highlight the face. And if you are an OG here, you know that these are two of my all-time favorite highlights. We have Flexitarian and Stole the Show. So that's Flexitarian. <laughs> so beautiful. And then this one right here is Stole the Show. Oh, my God, aren't they both so beautiful? Stole the Show has a little bit of a warmer undertone. It's not quite as icy as Flexitarian. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in with Stole the Show, and I'm just going to take these on my finger. This is how I prefer to apply them. And I'm going to just pat it in first. I like to work with these in layers because of the type of texture they are. I don't ever want to overwhelm them or skip them across the skin and make them grab onto my texture. Now before I go in with the next layer, I'm going to take the butt of my sponge here or a side that hasn't been used and just press that into the skin. And that's layer one. So beautiful. And then we're going to go in with some Flexitarian. Yes. We are going to pat that up here. Ooh, bam. Look at her live her life so good and then again i'm going to press that into the skin now i'm going to take flexitarian and throw it on the inner portion of the eye and the brow bone but i'm going to take that on this tiny little dose of colors brush this also came with one of their palettes and it's a good little pointy brush and i'm just going to take and really emphasize that yellow bam yes honey Pull that down onto the lower lash line. Now we're gonna go ahead and give everything one more spray. We're gonna go in with their spray first. And then we're also gonna go in with the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray just for that overall dewy glow. Now while that's still a little bit damp, I'm going to take my beauty sponge and press everything in. I'm trying to see if I can get that stick foundation to work a little bit better for me and I don't, I don't know. I don't know that it works well on my skin. It doesn't look bad on like the cheek area, but it doesn't look good on like the nose or around the nose. Maybe when I try it next time, I'll try it with a different base. Cause this already doesn't look that great. It doesn't look bad. It's just mainly right here. It's like, mm -hmm. now we're gonna go ahead and curl up the lashes here and go in with the ColourPop Mascara. This is their Volumizing BFF Mascara and I have it in black on black. So I just went in and did two coats of the mascara on this eye. And I have to say, I think that looks really nice. It's a really nice elongating mascara, but it's also doing a good job at keeping the lashes individualized and not chunking them together and I'm really impressed. Now we're gonna move on to the final stage, which is lips, and I have to say, overall, I really enjoy their lip products. I love their lip liners, their glosses, their lipsticks, their lippy pencils. The only thing from them that I'm not like obsessed with are their matte liquid lipsticks, and that's just because they're a little bit too matte for my lips personally, but I do know there's a lot of people out there that love them. Now, I think I want to go, what color do I want for this eye look? I think a nude brown would probably be the best. This was part of the Zodiac collection as well this is in Scorpio moon oh wait guys we might have a winner I think I like this color holy crap because I think it would look beautiful with this outer V color right here let's try it oh yeah oh so good if you've never tried their lipsticks, definitely worth it. All right, you guys, and this is the finished look. What do you think? Be sure to let me know down below. The eyes, the lips, ColourPop in general. I want to know your thoughts. For me, I feel like ColourPop is one of those brands, honestly, that they keep coming out with new, amazing, innovative products, and I love that. But I also love that they always stay true to their roots. It's always stuff that's affordable and that they've really made an effort to expand into every category. And, you know, with every brand, there's always going to be something that we don't necessarily love or that doesn't work for our skin or maybe we don't like the undertones or the colors in the palette, but I feel like universally with ColourPop, I have just found so many things to love. Now, this foundation has taken a little bit of a turn because the nose still doesn't look the best and all the foundation did settle into my Hulk crease, but for the most part, I actually think everything else smoothed out. The cheeks look really nice. Even through here, I'm seeing no issues like with my laugh lines. So I would use this foundation again. I think I would probably mix it with a more full coverage one, like maybe my Catrice HD. I think that would be a good combination. It would give me a little more coverage and a little bit more 
more grip or staying power. But overall, you guys, I really enjoyed everything I played with. I told you as I went, stuff I already loved, stuff I didn't love, stuff I hadn't tried, and kind of tried to really pull everything ColourPop. And I just really enjoyed doing this video. I also want to hear from you guys down below. Is there anything else you want to see? These types of videos, obviously, I really enjoy. But if you have something that you're curious about or a new release that is coming up, be sure to leave that down below as well. While you're down there, don't forget you can check me out on Instagram and on Twitter. They're both up in the description box. They're hyperlinked, so all you have to do is click them, click follow. And if you haven't done so yet, you can also subscribe and turn on your post notifications for this here YouTube channel because I upload five videos a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. They go up bright and early, bright and early, between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in northern Michigan. That means for a lot of you, they go up between, I think, 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning. So if you're getting off a third shift, maybe you're just a bright and early riser, you like to have somebody to hang out, do your makeup with, or drink your coffee with, I'm your girl. So definitely subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and hang out with me. We talk about all things new, old, makeup we love, makeup we don't love, month and favorites, whatever is going on in the world of makeup, we chit chat about it. But you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Ow, 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 hello? Oh my god. Huh. It's like I just jammed a dagger through my friggin' scalp. Girl, you better bronze up that nose. You gotta get that schnoz snatch. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Hello. It looks like I'm talking to my kingdom. And they're always coming up with these new interesting things like their jelly much eyeshadows or their... They also came out... <laughs> Caught it! Nailed it. They're super, super, their super shock cheek blushes look like this. This one is in the shit. Their super shock cheek blushes. Their super shock. All right, I quit. Their super, super shock cheek blushes. Got it. Their super shock. <laughs> oh my god, it's not on purpose. I'm. Paige, you are not defeated. You are woman, hear me roar. That was a hiss.